the left hand one, as we said, yes. certainly getting a little bit short in the back swing, so as the club yeah. was going back, not bad in terms of take away yeah. the movement, but just it just looked a little bit sort of almost yeah. three quarter yeah. than what your full would yeah. be. Not three quarters yeah. horizontal, but yeah. you're used to being a bit longer than that. I think the problem is when you're feeling as though you want to go for a fullish swing, as you yeah. were trying to do, but yeah. the club's only going back as far as yeah. it's going, the timing now yeah. where that swing is kind of on that circle, if you're expecting it to be there, and yeah. it's on that blue line or that yeah. blue arrow there, then the body's not really sort of fully turning and yeah. the hands like everything's a bit out of sync, you're not sort of getting the yeah. right timing. You then gotta try and reconnect them back yeah. as you come back down. So if you can get the body turning, get that right shoulder on the back to target, there you can see that's a much fuller yeah. shoulder turn. Still, as I said, three quarter in terms yeah. of the length of that. I don't mind that, that's fine. So the shoulder turn yeah. your back now you can see there's a full shoulder turn. Yeah. Clear all the lines there, you can just see in terms of where your shoulder is yeah. and your body. Your back's fully called up there now. Yeah. You're creating a back swing, which is yeah. what you're looking to try and do yeah. for a full shot. If yeah. it was a different length shot, like a yeah. knockdown shot or a three-quarter yeah. shot, then that's fine. But in your mind's eye, the speed was going full, yeah. and you're trying to get the ball full. Yeah. But they weren't all going the right yeah. sort of distance. Okay. So from there, now we can do, give us a bit more time. The arms will just drop down. You see, the lower half can start driving into impact, and that right foot can just start coming off. A little bit early. That sort of movement yeah. there, we'd look to get a yeah. little bit more, yeah. as opposed to just hanging back. If the bottom half stops, you, you're almost sort of sort of forced to try and Still almost it, yeah. just save it yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. And again, the last thing you want to be is playing golf, trying yeah. to protect the shot going one yeah. way or the other. Yeah. You want to be able to fully, we said, I think, sort of middle part of last year, talking about some of the lessons. If you can eliminate yeah. that pull, the left yeah. of the golf yeah. course, hey, release the club fully. Yeah. Your club where it used yeah. to go back on the inside, corner yeah. that hook, that's yeah. kind of gone, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. But if the body stops and the hands are overtaking yeah. this hooky one, yeah. and that's a horrible cut down. Yeah. That, that fear of that snap yeah. hook, oh, especially in the summer, the grind's going to be harder and bent. Yeah. It's going to be a bit of a difficult one. So, yeah, it's through to a good finish position. So, the position's good there. That position here now with the arms and body's not too bad. The right foot there is moving off there. We'd look to get that a little bit earlier yeah. on the way down. If it sort of sticks on the ground too much and doesn't twist the right yeah. hip, top half overtaken. Yeah. So, otherwise, not bad swing metal. Yeah. It's been pretty good, but yeah, load the back swing, get a little more turn the back swing, get that back yeah. facing to target, and yeah. then give you that time for that club yeah. then to tack back down to the golf ball yeah. rather than trying to sort of play catch up or slow. Yeah. Too much stuff to go yeah. on there, and it's so. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Good.